Hello out there everybody and welcome back to the Ledbetter RC Air Force channel. I'm Lance and this is going to be the second video in the beginner series. Uh, in the first video if you watched you saw that we went through uh, setting up just a simple easy four channel plane using one servo per control surface uh, and then we went over binding registering binding the receiver and uh, pretty much got the, just a basic plane set up. All right, now that we've got that done, what we wanna do is we wanna go in and we wanna add some uh, Expo and dual or, or triple rates. So let's get going with that. So as you can see right here, the little airplane, we'll click on that, we'll go back. We went into it in the last video, the mixer page. And here it's going to show ailerons, elevator, throttle, rudder, and it's going to give you your channel order, one, two, three, four. And these are our default channels. That's, that's where they're going to go. All right, now so set, to set up our dual rates or triple rates, whichever you prefer to use, uh, for ailerons, we're going to we'll click on that and then click again going to bring this drop down box down it's going to say edit so click on edit uh, all right now our active condition is going to stay on always on uh, and right here you'll see curve this is where we're going to set up our expo all right so we click on that and you'll see expo right here so click on expo and right next to it to the right this is where we're gonna put in our percentage. So we click on that and we'll go, I'm gonna kind of use quite a bit just so you can see it, but I'm gonna set this at 40. I like a lot of Expo anyway, but anyway, you can pick whatever you want. Uh, probably would wanna start at about 20 till you get, get it figured out. But I'm just using some exaggerated numbers here so you can, uh, you can see it a little better. So anyway, we get our 40% there, click on that. So now at this point, we're gonna set, I usually set up three rates, high, medium, and low. So this, I'm gonna set up my mid rates. And this is also where we're gonna have to select a switch for our high, medium, and low rates. So here we gotta go, we're gonna add another curve. And this is where we select our switch. You're gonna see this right here. So you got for whatever your mid rates are going to be, that's where you're going to put your switch setting at this point. So I'm going to put it in the middle. That's cuz middle is mid rates for me. So once we get that done, just click anywhere out here. All right, now we're going to go over here. We're going to create another curve expo. And then you'll see right here another percentage. We're going to go we're just going to go set this at 30 for mid and then it's the same procedure here for low rates you will click on this it's gonna be your switch position come on highlight there for me all right so put that in the, that's gonna be my low rate position all right so now we click here one more time to do expo and then for this one, I'm gonna just set it at say 20. All right, now we're done with the Expo. So now you can see on this switch, if you watch this graph over here, you can see the line change as we go from high, medium to low. All right, so now what we wanna do, we're gonna go down here and you'll see weight rates. And that's gonna be your servo travel, how far it goes. Right now, it defaults to 100%. Um, you can leave it there if you want. If your control surfaces are moving too far, uh, you can come down, you can hit this, you can set it, you know, 80% may be enough to get the travel that you want. Uh, I'm gonna just leave this at 100%, and that's gonna be my high rate setting. All right, so let's just say I want a mid rate 
So we're going to hit add new weight. This, and now we're going to do our switch again, which I'm doing the same switch right here. So we'll click on that. We'll put a switch in the middle position. You can see there. Then we're going to go in here to our mid range uh, rate. And turn it down. I'm going to go to about 80. All right. So then we want to set up our low rates. We'll click here. Switch position again. Which I'm going to put it all the way to me. And then on this one, I'm going to do just 65%. All right, so now we've got our expo and we also have got our rates. You can see this change as we, as we flip our switch. That's high rates, medium rates, low rates. All right, so we've got that done. Here, now if you scroll further down, this is where you can set up a percentage of differential. Uh, you just click on that and highlight it. Uh, I don't think that with uh, just a single servo setup, that's not going to be active. It would be if you had two servos for, uh, for ailerons. So if you go down here to the bottom, now this is our output. You can see how far the little bar is moving. All right, now if we switch it to the mid rates, then low rates, you can see the difference. All right, well, we're done there. Now I'm get back out. Now I'm not gonna do this for elevators because it's exactly the same as you just did for ailerons. If you wanna do it on rudder, it's exactly the same for that. So you can just go through each individual one. Now what we wanna do now is if, especially if you're flying electric, we need a throttle cut. So we're gonna click on throttle Open this box, you're gonna see edit again. Hit edit. We're gonna go down to about the fourth line where it says active condition, which would be right here. We're gonna hit that. This is where we're gonna select the switch and the position that we want the throttle off. So I'm, I put mine up here and I like it up to be in the off position. So I put the switch if you want it down in the off position, just put it down. It doesn't matter either way. All right. So now you can see I've got my switch up. The red line here at the bottom is just, it's flat. So if I move the throttle, the yellow bar goes across, but it's not getting any throttle. Now, if I move the switch to the middle or the forward position, you can see we now have throttle. Back up, no throttle. So we're done, we're done with that. We can go up here and get out. Uh, there is one more thing here. Uh, you can see here now, it's off. The bar is not, not moving. We'll show you this. See, now you have throttle. Pretty much that does it for throttle cut. Uh, the next video we're gonna go through, uh, we're gonna go into the outputs and uh, we'll show you servo reversing, servo centering, and then we'll probably go into setting up uh, timers. See you guys on the next one, bye.